Why does this need to be a problem? What if it's not a problem? The reason why I ask that is because I don't know a single person who doesn't consume something. Not a single one. Millionaires, multi-decker millionaires I know consuming stuff. Broke guys I know consuming stuff. It's just that what they consume is different. So we have right now what you're looking into, the most powerful tool we could have ever asked for. And I don't think we should see that as a bad thing because a tool is not good or bad, it's simply just how the person uses it. Imagine a dumbass with a hammer will say the hammer's bad because he hurt his finger with it, whereas yeah. a skilled craftsman will say, well, yeah, it's a tool, it's fun. this is a good hammer. And this is maybe what's happening to a lot of us because mm. it's cool online in my space of self-improvement to tell guys like, yeah, content consumption's bad, guys, you know, just because it triggers you because straight away you do see the time that's lost. But I'm telling you right now, the most successful guys out there who are making millions, they're consuming content. They're reading books. They're on YouTube still half an hour, one hour a day. Like I'm on YouTube for like maybe an hour or two per day. It's just, okay, let, let's just say this. We're probably going to be consuming. So now it's just, okay, well, what are you going to consume? If you hate yourself for consuming and you think it's a bad thing, you'll be more likely to watch bullshit. I think it's a good thing. And so when I thought it was a good thing and I psychologically told myself that I can actually do it as much as I want and enjoy from it, but that I want to make it more valuable, suddenly I start to actually seek out the more valuable content, the longer form content, the unedited stuff, the podcast, like the first man videos and um, podcasts of people that I really like who I look up to. And suddenly it's like for, for hours every day, I'm getting unofficial mentorship from guys who are worth over a hundred million from guys who are far ahead of me. Hasn't everyone in this call, hasn't your life changed from watching content, watching my videos, watching maybe Tate or First Minus or Homozy? How did you learn anything if not from just consuming the content there? That's why I, I ask you, is it actually a bad thing that you spent half an hour learning? Maybe not. It's not just a bad thing that, oh, you know, I spent half an hour on YouTube. That's not inherently a bad thing, just like a hammer is not a bad thing. We just don't want to waste our time watching something that's not even that helpful. So there's something very practical you can do, everyone else can do. After this call, when, it, when you've got some time, open up like a, a document or a piece of paper and, and ask yourself, what is the 80-20 of the helpful, valuable content on YouTube? What 20% of the videos do I watch genuinely help me 80% of like, give me 80% of like the real thing that I wanted, which was like knowledge, education, learning, and like a real life benefit. You'll probably pick out, it's not just a certain person, but it's a certain type of video from a certain type of person. So it's like, for example, Homozi does his own videos on his own channel and they're pretty nice. But when Alex Homozi, this entrepreneur, when he goes and does podcasts with people, that's the 20% for me. And then suddenly it's like, okay, well, probably podcasts are quite good. When Andrew Huberman does a full length podcast on something that I'm interested in, that's a 20%. And so suddenly now my learning online, like my content consumption is only full of these 20% which have genuinely changed my life completely. And they're the only things that I really watch. Now, of course, I make some mistakes. I end up watching some bullshit, which still, you know, wastes like a few minutes here and there. But now my, my curation of content is very strong. So I'd ask you this live, what right now can you think is the 20% of content or videos on YouTube that has helped you the most. 